Okay, back up. Mirror's all intact. I didn't see this on the other one. Don't know what that is. It's a stink sensor. Okay, alarm section in there. Now, is this an 06 or 07? That bit you didn't tell me. Okay, same, same in there, mate. Just let me, uh... Okay, the seats are disconnected, dude. You have to be sitting in them all. Yeah, okay, I've got no movement in the seat. It's in park and it's got no movement in that seat at all, mate. Nor any movement in that seat either. Excuse, bud. How do you make the seats go backwards, forwards, stuff like that? How do you make the seats go backwards and forwards and up and down? And Maybe the fuse popped on it. Okay, yeah, it Okay, both seats don't work at the front. Uh, okay, we've already done the other side. That door's on very solid. Okay, now, what I see over here? This section here, I'm gonna keep the camera still but lift my hand up. Alright, so it's all sort of hanging here. It's all tight along here. Right, then you've got a little gap that runs along here, all the way through, which this is flat, but the roof sort of, you can sort of see back in there. However, this side, there's only a little gap, very fine, I can't even get my finger in, and now I've almost got my finger in. Okay, now I've got hand all the way through. All right, and here is meant to have something all the way along here. You can see it going all the way around. This is where that roof is, so I can't really, Unpluck the bugger. But here we've got a big gap. I can get my hand in there from you know over here. Or I can just get my fingers in. So you'd need to rectify all this section here. You can actually see screws and lights and everything. So you'd need to get that all lifted up. And it goes back to being normal. It's cold. Uh, floor looks water stained, but it sort of looks cool. So you could get away with that. Um, seats are in good condition. All the seat belts are there. However, I don't know whether you have to uh, change these belts over once they get there. Um, that's about all I can see on the... Uh, there's a couple of sections of um, the corner architrave where it's coming down just here. It's got a nice little roll in it. If you look down further, it's peeling right there in the video, which I'll come up to it. It's just, you can actually get a uh, upholsterer to heat that up and re-glue it. But it feels like there's padding there, so I think you're going to have to redo the whole thing. That's if you want to, we'll give a shit. Um, so yeah, that's pretty well it, bud. Oh, there's some cigarette burns too somewhere. Right, just there. mess there is somebody just sitting there with a cigarette lighter or a thing. I don't know what that is mate. Party. The perspective also right here, it's still flat, you can't see it. It's some light, you can see the little ripples that I'm bringing up on, with the light. It's like a, it's been heated up from above. Okay, well that's it. Okay, that was the door on this side. So that's all good. All the mats are in the back for the whole car. And a couple of towels, but that's about it. A few water stains and stuff like that. A little scratch just there on the back section. That's it. A couple of little cut rips just here. Just from, from bitches getting in and out the back with their handbags. <laughs> so what's it drive like? On the highway? Yeah. Really nice. Yep. In tight turns, you gotta know how to drive the thing because you know what I mean? That those wide tires, so you gotta like yep. give you a room and it has no 
30 weight is. You see, 200 and something inches is ridiculous. You know what I mean? Uh, Scratch just see, there. On the highway, nobody can do One there. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. The thing is like a beast. It drives real smooth. But, uh, you know, it's just, it just takes some use to making turns with it. Yeah. But besides that, like I said, you know, you got to roll it to use the power yeah. steering because all Hummers are like that. And then when they put the monster tires for the ride, yeah. I mean, they gave it a great ride, but man, it sure makes it tougher to turn. Yeah. That's cool, bud. Where are you guys shipping it to? Oh, it's going to Australia. Australia? Yeah. A bit of overspraying and stuff there, mate. I didn't notice this before, so just hang on a sec. That's no, just the, that's the way it is. You guys got a lot of narrow roads, or? Nah, same as back, same as here. Yeah. If you don't have too many, you know, down roads, you're good, you know, this thing is just, usually we have no problems until you get to like downtown and stuff, yeah. you know what I mean? That's when we really have problems, because it just, you know. Scratches on the hood there, bud. Okay, that's it. I sort of take three photos and I'm done.